Are you ready to harness the sheer power of gradients and shading to create some of the best motion graphics? Well, in a few easy steps, you'll be able to make anything cinematic right here in After Effects. All right, this first technique is for those of you that want to create epic shading where light wraps around your graphics. So as you can see, I have a basic setup, just a couple of simple circles and a dark background, but you can design anything that you want. And yes, the first thing I would do is right click, go to layer styles and add, of course, a gradient overlay. This will allow you to edit the gradient and choose, say, a dark, deep color and then even a darker color for that second color stop. Then position the brighter color to the side of your graphic or wherever you like. Now, back to layer styles, add, bevel and emboss. And real easily, you can lower the depth Increase the size to around 50 and then angle the brighter part of this to the top part of your graphic. Now this doesn't look like much yet, but you can copy the layer style to your other shapes if you have any. To make it look like we're actually doing something epic, create an adjustment layer and apply the tritone effect and then just change the midtone to a dominant color of your choice. Now apply the noise effect and set it to around 12% and of course uncheck color noise. And if you're ready to create that beautiful light, all you need to do is say duplicate your shape layer and delete any layer styles. Then set the shape to a white stroke only, no fill baby. What's cool about strokes is that you can add a trim path and adjust the end percent and offset to shorten your line. Additionally, you can go into the taper settings and set the start and end lengths to 100% and then adjust the stroke width accordingly. To make this an epic light streak, try adding the Gaussian blur effect and slightly increase the amount. Then add that handy glow effect and set the radius to around 100. And to squeeze the cheese out, <laughs> duplicate the glow effect and really increase the radius. And to add a light glint or a slight you know, flare, throw in the CC radial fast blur effect and set it to around 60 and select brightest. And then move the center point somewhere on the light streak and beautiful. But back to the adjustment layer, try adding another glow effect with a high radius and also sweeten the deal with posterize to make a true work of art. Now it's up to you how you use these settings and how you animate your scene, but the power is yours to create those dramatic epic motion graphics and ensure you always produce epic cinematic work in no time with our free templates cinematic transitions and motion graphics all right here in our motion duck extension you can animate entire projects in seconds with our thousands of presets and update any template to fit your needs so you can get 45,000 plus templates for just 25 bucks and get our free pack this supports my channel so thank you very much now perhaps we've gone a touch too dramatic and we would rather apply that professional clean gradient look instead and you know this is very easy to do because it's up to you to use any gradient technique that you want like just using a simple gradient ramp effect and setting a primary color and choosing a darker color by using the gradient ramp effect this allows you to freely move the gradient around additionally you can throw in the same exact adjustment layer effects from the previous technique and boom strong start from here, you can just throw in, say, a inner glow layer style and set the color to your main primary color and increase the choke and the size to anywhere around 30 to 40 points. And also use bevel and emboss and you can vary the depth and size depending on your shape and whatever looks good. And then re-angle the brighter part of the bevel to the top. And now you are a gradient champion. All right, this third gradient technique is all about epicness as we can take a simple rectangle and make a movie grade graphic. So you're gonna wanna animate your shape by adding in wiggle paths. You can set the detail to around, well, two, and then increase the size and set the points to smooth and then lower the wiggles per second. All right, simple movement, but now you can add the Gaussian blur effect and really increase the amount uncheck repeat edge pixels finally add a four color gradient or use any gradient method of your choice and set your colors and points to turn this into some cinematic lines add the turbulent displace effect and set the displacement to vertical displacement okay there's a lot of displacement but lower the size to three and really and i mean really increase the amount and when you're ready you can alt click the stopwatch for evolution and use something like time asterisk 100 and you know, this is a great start, but it's giving me the ick. So <laughs> please create your adjustment layer and add the glow effect immediately. And when your glow does something crazy like this, adjust the threshold until the glow looks natural. 
then truly increase the glow radius because it just feels right. If you alt click the stopwatch for your glow radius and add the wiggle to comma third expression, this will flicker your glow by a touch. And of course, try using the noise effect and posterize. But this method is also great if you don't use the turbulent displace effect as you can also create smooth gradients as well. And of course you can apply these to smaller shapes as well so there's just so many uses for this. Now keep in mind you don't always have to go crazy with the effects to create a strong gradient. For instance, just turning one of your motion graphics into a gradient is all you need. And feel free to mess around and add as many colors as you want. And sometimes all you're going to need to do is throw in a very subtle glow effect onto your shape itself and then create an additional glow effect on an adjustment layer to really push that gradient out. So I hope you got the hang of this. Subscribe and always be creating.